Uh, greetings, everyone. Today is the 10th of April, 2023. We are on the eve of the ZEP court case, which will be held, held uh, in Pretoria High Court or North Houghton High Court uh, from the 11th of April, 2023 to the 14th of April, 2023. The case is brought by Helen Sussman Foundation and others. Uh, the reason for the court case, according to Helen Sussman Foundation, is the decision by the Minister of Home Affairs not to extend the Zimbabwe exemption payments. You will recall that on the 24th of November, South African Cabinet took a decision not to extend the Zimbabwe exemption permit. That decision was communicated to the public on the 25th of November, 2021. Prior to that decision being taken and announced, you'll recall that others had made a public announcement that they were going to go to court to force the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Swaleti, to grant permanent residence to holders of ZEP. You will recall that uh, in October, I think that was in October, when that decision was made. And our view at that time was that it was premature for anyone to make a public announcement that they were going to go to court uh, to force the government to grant a permanent residence to holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits when a decision was yet to be taken on the future of the Zimbabwe exemption permits. So by the time when the South African cabinet made the announcement on the uh, 25th of November 2021, already others have said they were going to go to court to force government to grant permanent residence to holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits. And they were arguing that the reason being that holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits have been in South Africa for years. At the time, we did indicate that the Zimbabwe community in South Africa was not part of the court case. Later on, of course, when the uh, government announced uh, that it was, not, it was not going to extend the Zimbabwe exemption permits. Then Helen Sussman Foundation and others went to court uh, to challenge that decision. So the decision, or what is before the courts, according to the Helen Sussman Foundation, is not the granting of permanent residence permits, as was initially argued by others. It is now about the decision to terminate. And uh, Helen Sussman Foundation argues that the holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits were not sufficiently consulted uh, by the Department of Home Affairs or by the Minister not to extend the Zimbabwe exemption permits. You will recall also that uh, after the announcement was made, sometime in December uh, 2021, the Department of Home Affairs, through the Director General, wrote to every ZEP holder uh, communicating the decision not to extend. This also was followed by another letter, email, uh, to every ZEP holder encouraging them to apply for other visas as provided for in the Immigration Act. You will also recall that uh, uh, at the time, most people that were applying were being declined because they couldn't qualify. Those that were applying for waivers were being declined. Later on, the Director General wrote uh, to every person that had had their waiver application rejected that uh, the Department of Home Affairs was withdrawing the rejection. Uh, they said that the Minister was to apply his mind. You also recall that the Minister of Home Affairs put together a task team specifically to look into the issue of the Zimbabwe exemption permit holders who were applied to move to other mainstream visas. When the announcement was made by Cabinet on the 25th of November 2021, the Zimbabwe exemption permits were extended for a period of a year. That is, the grace period was extended to a period of a year. That is to say, the grace period was to expire on the 31st of December 2021. But in consultation with the task team put together by the Minister of Home Affairs, headed by the former director in the presidency, 
uh, it was agreed that uh, the extension was going to be granted up to 30th of June 2023. So we are almost two months before the expiry of that grace period and we have a court case that is to happen from the 11th of April to the 14th of April 2023. All of us, we do not know what the court is going to decide. It's important, though, to also note that uh, in the previous weeks, the Minister of Home Affairs has been issuing waivers to those that uh, previously would have not qualified. As I've already said, that uh, before the task team was put into place, a number of people that had applied for waivers were rejected, which were later on withdrawn. We have seen people of low skill uh, being granted the waivers. What we are yet to see is whether these individuals will then go on and apply for visas, uh, whether they are going to be successful in applying for visas. Uh, uh, the minister says there are about 17 visas or so that people have to apply to. So this channel uh, will uh, uh, try to bring, though will not be there in, in person, uh, uh, our team will not attend the court case, but we will be giving some analysis uh, as we get from uh, the mainstream media on what is happening in the court and uh, what, uh, what it means. Uh, and I want to underline so that uh, uh, we do not uh, get credit for what does not belong to us. We do not want to have a story we did not. So from the onset, we say the organization that I lead, the Zimbabwe community in South Africa, did not take the South African government to court. So we are not the ones that approached the Helen Sussman Foundation. We are saying this so that uh, whatever the outcome, uh, uh, we should not therefore say it is because the Zimbabwe community in South Africa went to court. No, we didn't go to court. Uh, 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 but we said because uh, our members are affected and uh, they want to know what the court outcome will be. This is why we'll be giving those analyses. Uh, as I'm saying, for the record, that we are not part of the court case, but the people that we assist, the migrant workers, are holder, who are holders of ZEP, have a huge interest on what the court case is going to say. But also the court case is coming at a time, as I've already said, uh, when the minister is signing waivers to people of low skill. And all along, we've been concerned about the people of low skill. We've been raising these issues. We've written to the Department of Home Affairs through the Director General, asking them to clarify on how a person of low skill can move to a, low, to a mainstream visa. <clears throat> you also remember a meeting that we held in Bosbeck where the acting director for immigration was present. Uh, the videos are in this YouTube channel where we're putting these questions to him to say, please clarify. In that meeting was uh, accompanied by a lawyer whom we're told was a legal advisor in the Department of Home Affairs. Uh, uh, so we've been very concerned about people of low skill. Now that uh, people of low skill are getting their waivers, is a relief to us. What we await is for them to then get the actual visas. So please keep uh, tuned or stay tuned uh, in this YouTube channel so that uh, we discuss together the developments in the court uh, as we'll be focusing on that from the 11th to the 14th of April 2023. Please write your comments. Yeah, we know some of you are looking forward to it. And of course, we know that there are some that are opposed to this court case. We'll be discussing all these issues. Please write your comments, like this video, circulate, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Uh, for those, sorry, for those that uh, uh, would uh, awake on the 11th of uh, November, I mean, sorry, 11th of April 2023, that is Tuesday, 11th April 2023, at 0 to 30 hours, tune in on Power FM. I've been invited. Uh, I'm saying those will be awake because the, it is in the way, the interview is happening in the wee hours. We'll be discussing 
ZEP issues. I told the journalist that I will put my alarm, set my alarm for 2 a.m. so that I'm, I'm ready for the interview at 2.30 a.m some few hours from now. Otherwise, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Please do subscribe. Goodbye.